Hi, welcome. Today I am making a card using the Flowy Jellyfish stamp from Technique Junkies. This is part of the June 2021 release and I'm going to create a vignette background. So I have some sponges here. One is a sea sponge and the other is just a household sponge. And I got the sea sponge from a craft store. It was just in like a little grab bag with a bunch of sponges. I'm going to make a vignette so that I have shading around the edges, but the center of my panel will be left um, bright so that I can stamp the flowy jellyfish in the middle. I start out with the basic household sponge and I'm going for a dark border around the edge here. I'm using Catherine Pooler Cumberbund ink, which is a nice blue color. And using this type of sponge, I'm able to get a nice, basically thick border. This is going to frame my stamped image. So just use what you have and you can also do this type of vignette effect. Okay, so I have three different colors of Catherine Puller inks. I have blue suede shoes, which I'm going to start with. Now I have the sea sponge. The sea sponge has different textures than a regular sponge and it's a little bit stiffer as far as um, the feeling of the sponge. So I'm able to tap around my edges and this is giving me more of a broken up look. It's not so solid. It's basically, it looks like a sponge and you are basically pouncing the paper with the sponge. I learned this technique from my friend Tracy. Um, her YouTube channel is Not Afraid of Color. She's the one who showed me how to do this on one of her videos. So I definitely want to give credit to her and I'm using her idea here and it always turns out so cool every time that I do it. So it just takes a little bit of time and you'll definitely get some inky fingers, but it's worth it in the end, you know, for the effect that it gives. I'm just going round and round with the blue suede shoes. It's a nice bright, deep blue, whereas the cummerbund is more of a teal. Now I'm switching to Aqua Teeny and basically I'm just rotating my sponge to find a different edge, which has different texture than the side that I already used. And I'll take the Aqua Teeny and I will tap all around this frame with Aqua Teeny, which is a nice greenish blue color. Of course, my stamped image is a jellyfish. So I'm trying to stick to colors that are associated sort of like with the water or the ocean or a beach. Lots of blues and aquas. And this is turning out pretty nice. I'm getting a nice effect here, but I, I think it just needs a little something to, you know, make it more dramatic. So I'm going in and finishing up with the Aqua Teeny. You can see that it's nice and freshly um, inked. So it's leaving great impression all the way around the border. Okay, so I grabbed blue suede shoes again. And I'm just gently tapping the paper to get some of that ink to lay there. This gives it more of a grungy look, but it's an easy trick or technique, in other words, to learn and get a nice effect. Once you have your blues and greens around the edge, then you can go in with some bright colors and make it pop. So here I'm using the flirty fuchsia and I'm just tapping it just to make little dots in other words or um, little sections of purple that's going to um, be all around the frame. So it's around the middle where the vignette is, but it's also purple that I'm stamping or pouncing with the sponge um, all around the border, giving it a nice bit of purple sparkle. So if you like purple, this step brings that color into the frame. I'm really liking how this is turning out. The sponge makes really nice 
impression, but I have these little applicator sticks. They're basically just plastic sticks with cotton on top. I think they use them in dental offices. My goal here is to vary some of the texture. So I'm going to use Tiki Torch, which is a orange color, and just stamp or pounce with the three basically tips of this plastic um, applicator put together. And you can use whatever you have. You might have like an eraser or something small that you can tap into your ink and do the same thing. But these turned out really nice. Um, they're just the perfect little size for little dots all around. And what I found was the purple and the orange really make things pop and stand out. So just don't, don't forget to do this step. I think this is just basically putting the finishing touches on the panel. Now, after I'm done with this step, I make sure the ink is dry and then I put the panel into my Tim Holtz stamping platform and I stamp the jellyfish on top using VersaFine Clara Nocturne ink. I also use a stamp set that's not part of the June release, but that is available through Technique Junkies. And the name of that stamp set is Dream, Hope, Wish, Wonder comes with three I mean it comes with four sentiments and I put all four sentiments on the card panel I just felt like the jellyfish needed a little something to go along with him or her on the front of my card there's the jellyfish I think it looks fantastic the only thing I would have done differently would be to heat emboss the jellyfish I just love it I think it's so cool uh, sorry that I lost my camera coverage of me stamping it but here i am cleaning the stamp technique junkies are red rubber stamp and i will have a link below in my description box for the technique junkies website as well as my affiliate link as well as my coupon code which is tj10 tracy if you use that you can save 10 percent on your order Technique Junkies um, are very quick to get your order out to you. And here's my finished card. You can see that the card panel is placed on a piece of purple card base, forming the base of the card. And I also added some sequins to the front of the panel. I really like how this turned out and I hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you think about this beautiful flowy jellyfish. Thanks so much for watching. Have a hopeful day. Bye-bye.